Okay, in unit 1, part 5, the tangent identity, we figured out that the tangent identity was sine of x over cosine of x. So the tangent of an angle is equal to the sine of the angle divided by the cosine of the angle. So if we know the sine and the cosine, we can figure out the tangent. So if the sine of x is 3 fifths and the cosine of x is 4 fifths, what's the tangent of x? Well, we learned in the video and the PowerPoint that when we have two fractions with the same denominator and we're dividing them, the denominators are going to cancel each other out because when we divide, we change it to multiplication and we flip the second fraction to its reciprocal, making these two common denominators that we originally had, 5 and 5, be on opposite positions. One is now a numerator and one is a denominator. So when we multiply we're going to get 15 over 20 which we can reduce or we can reduce ahead of time and cancel this 5 and this 5 and end up with 3 fourths. So the answer to the first one is 3 fourths. But the reason the answer is 3 fourths is because we just take the numerator of sine and put it over the numerator of cosine. The denominators are going to cancel every time. So the sine of x is 3 fifths and cosine of x is 4 fifths. I don't need to actually do any work. I can just put 3 over 4 and 3 fourths is going to be our solution. For tangent of x is 12 sixteenths and sine of x is 12 twentieths. Now I've got to go and plug this into my equation. Problem being, they don't have the same denominator, correct? But if I were to have sine here and cosine, I would put this numerator over this numerator. So I would put 12 over the numerator for cosine of x. They should have the same denominator because sine of x is opposite over hypotenuse and cosine of x is adjacent over hypotenuse. If they're both over the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is the same for both because they're the same angle. They should both have 20 for the fractions denominator. So essentially it should be 12 over 20 and this should be 12 over 16. So that means the cosine should have been 16 over 20. I know that went a little fast. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so we need the sine which was 12 over 20 over the cosine, which we don't know, and it's got to be equal to the tangent, which we said was 12 over 16. So sine over cosine equals tangent. Um, I've got to get cosine by itself so that I can solve for it. So I would get it out of the denominator by multiplying it by both sides. When I multiply it by both sides, Cosine is going to cancel over here, and I'll be left with So I end up with 12 over 20 equals 12 over 16 times the cosine of x. I need to get the cosine of x by itself, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 12 over 16 so that it will cancel out. I cannot just multiply by the reciprocal. I need to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So I should multiply by 16 over 12 on both sides. 16 over 12 on both sides. Over here, the 12s cancel, the 16s cancel, and I have cosine left. Over here, the 12s cancel, and I have 16 over 20. So I have the cosine of x is equal to 16 over 20. which is what we had said before, because they were going to have the same denominators and cosine was going to be the bottom of the tangent fraction. 
So 16 over 20 is the solution. For number 3, sine of x is 5 thirteenths, cosine of x is 12 thirteenths. What's the tangent? I'm going to take the numerator of sine and the numerator of cosine, and I'll put them over each other, 5 over 12, and that will give me my tangent, because we just discussed in the last two problems how those denominators are going to cancel away. Number four, what's the tangent of x if the cosine is 24 25ths and the sine of x is 7 25ths? I need to take the sine over the cosine. So the numerator of my sine is 7. Numerator of my cosine is 24. So it should be 7 24ths. Last one, I again have the tangent. So we can take the shortcut way again. We can say if I had 8 17ths, that's my opposite over my hypotenuse. My cosine is going to be my adjacent over the hypotenuse, so it's got to be either 8 17 or 15 17 Well, the tangent is going to be the sine numerator of sine over the numerator of cosine. So the numerator of my cosine should be 15. 15 over 17 is the only one that fits that description. So that's the only one. And then hit submit. Using the tangent identity, tangent equals sine over cosine, you can solve each one of these problems.